Greetings <clears throat> and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. In the previous video, I talked about systematic integration and how you could do it without any limit theory at all, proving conclusively that it's 100% geometric, that limits are not the core of calculus, as you've heard over and over again by those prize idiots from math departments at MIT, Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, Stanford, and all their whorish sister math departments. Um, there's never a need to integrate if you have the original function and you want to find the area under the derivative. You simply use the arctan function and the area under the derivative is given by this simple equation here. You simply take the tangent of that ordinate of the derivative minus a tangent of that ordinate of the derivative. And of course, any function always lies between minus pi over two and pi over two, as I show you with those magenta lines, okay? So, um, the one, the first one, the antecedent is expressed as rise over run, and the second one in terms of slope. See, when Newton was experimenting with his observations and whatnot to figure out how to find the slope of a tangent line, uh, he didn't quite know what he was doing, just like Leibniz and all the other idiots that came after them, Cauchy, Weistras, and the blithering fools who came up with limit theory, etc. So, um, the idea here is to show you that it's 100% geometric, and I think I did that in the previous video. Um, it works for any function, so you can choose any function you like. In this example here, and I'm going to shut the camera now, in this example here, I show you how it works with the logarithm function, okay? So I take the derivative of the log, which is 1 over x, and I find the area using this method that I just showed you, okay? So in other words, f of x is equal to natural log of n, and this is equal to the arctan of 1 over x, not x squared, okay? And doesn't matter how you do it, it will always work, okay, no problem at all. And you can verify that. If you do that, you go there. And that looks like the log of 2 It's correct. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that um, because you've heard so many lies over and over again about calculus, uh, limits being at the core of calculus. They're not. Limits are the result of the incompetence, incorrigible stupidity of the mainstream math academics of the last 200 years. <clears throat> there are, There is no need for limit theory in calculus, certainly not for finding slopes or areas. And of course, there's a lot more I haven't revealed about this, um, and I won't at least not at this time. So if you want to know more, pay me or get the corrupt ABLE prize committee to award a prize to me by nominating me, of course. So I'm John Gabriel. If you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber to my channel. Click like, follow me on academia.edu. And always remember that I'm actually looking out for you, not for the vile creeps that pollute math departments worldwide, that place you into debt to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm not looking out for them. I would shut them down for good. In fact, I would advise you not to even get a math degree because you can find all the useful math that you need online. And the math that they do, it's not math. It's anti-mathematical rot. They haven't done math in the last 150 years, by the way. They've been doing mathematics, not mathematics. So if you're not a, a member of my members-only channel, become 
a member for four ninety nine a month. And please support me. I'm trying to help you. I am not wealthy. And I've sacrificed my life for you. Yes, I have. I've sacrificed my life for you. You should think very carefully before you post a horrible comment on my YouTube, especially if you're a moron, like like a Marcus Cliver or somebody like that who doesn't know what he's talking about, or a Jean-Pierre Massager or one of those other idiots, the many idiots who've got worthless masters and PhD degrees. Till next time. Take care.